Well, good morning, all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why is this guy standing out in the rain? It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm at my buddy's house. We're going to put up a yardish tree 12 by 12 patio, and it's raining, but we only got today. So we're gonna do it anyways. Well, my buddy's out there getting his uh, extra drill plugged in. Electricity, oh my goodness. It's just a good steady light rain. Uh, I'm getting soaked already, but uh, <clears throat> this is the only day we got to do this thing. And uh, we shouldn't have to use too many power tools. Maybe just a cordless drill here and there. And uh, hopefully everybody <laughs> remains safe and we can get this thing up. I'm not going to be able to film a lot because, um, well, it's raining. But you can see we got our post laid out over there. And all that junk over there in the on the driveway. Those are the boxes and the other pieces of wood that we are screwing and bolting together right now. Hang tight, I'll give you some updates as we go along. And if the rain stops, uh, I'll get you guys out there for us stirring the build, all right? Hang tight. All right, you guys, it is about 9.30. We have been going at it for about two hours now, and we are making some slow progress, but praise the Lord, the rain has stopped, and I see just a small smidgeny spot of blue sky over there. I don't know if it's gonna stay clear or if it's gonna keep raining, but while I got some clear skies, I'm gonna show you what we got going on. So we're putting together these beams here. I've already done two. This is the third one. Those are the pieces for the fourth one. Over here we have these four big heavy duty posts and I just realized there's pieces inside of those hollowed out posts. I'm going to have to pull those out and see where those go. So we're going to put this right here on top of these pavers, we're going to stand up these four posts, we're going to attach the beams and then we have about 1,346 pieces to put together for the roofing system. That might take us just a wee little minute. But the rain stopped and I'm getting in my groove and things are going faster so hang on and we're going to get this puppy done in the if the good lord's willing we're going to get it done today. All right you guys. Let's do it. everybody well here is a quick update I wasn't able to film too much of this while we were doing it because it's just the two of us so what's up Joe all right, Devin. say hello all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land or not <laughs> all right so this is what we got so far hasn't been too difficult we got the bases squared up we're leaving the top a little loose so we can finagle it when we get the uh, roofing panels on and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it hasn't been too bad. It's been a lot of fun. The rain's held off, so praise the Lord for that. And we're going to keep going. I'll get you another update real soon. go guys making some progress we got all of our angle bracing up now the rain is starting to come back it's on a slow drizzle 
So you can see this thing right here. It is a piece of beauty. Looking very nice. A little more difficult than I thought it was going to be, but we're getting it. And uh, we're picking up speed as we go along. So we're done with the base. Now it's time to get the roof put together. section of roofing completed and uh, seems to be going smoothly everything's looking good we got Joe over here he's working on peeling off this plastic coating off of these metal pieces that is a pain in the butt and that is taking about as long as it takes for me to screw the panels on so I got the second one laid out right here I'm about to screw that down and we have two more roof sections left to do and then we're gonna slap these puppies up and we're gonna call it a day. So this is me trying to read wet instructions. If any of you are thinking about putting up a 12 by 12 gazebo from, what's it called, Yard Tech? What? This. From Yardistry. From Yardistry? You might wanna think again. We did our research. And I watched some videos, so I had a good idea of what to expect getting into this. Man, I tell you what, if you do it, have about four or five friends and uh, get ready for a long day. Well guys, here we are. It is day two of this, it's not a gazebo. What is this thing called? Well, I guess you would call it a gazebo. Well, it's day two of the gazebo build here at my buddy Joe's house. Hopefully, uh, we'll be done with it. We worked all the way until dark in the dark last night his girlfriend was holding a flashlight well so we could see what we were doing um, almost done we got a little tweaking to do so come on with me and I'll show you guys around well here it is you guys this is what we got done yesterday as you can see we don't have all the panels totally together but uh, she looks pretty good she's definitely a well-designed well-built piece of machinery if you can call it that and it's kind of pretty. So what we have to do is we have to push this apex up higher to draw in these last couple of sides. Get those bolted off and then continue installing these hurricane clips around all four sides. And then ladies and gentlemen, we will be done. Hallelujah. It sounds a lot easier than it's going to be because that roof gets a little heavy. Somebody's got to hold it up while the other person gets everything bolted together. So say a little prayer for us. Here we go. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The mission is completed. We're getting things cleaned up, getting the yard furniture put back in here. It looks really good. It was a bunch of work, but... Uh, you know, I gotta be honest with you, I watched a lot of videos on how to put these things together and it took these people like three and four days, but me and Joe knocked it out in a, a full day yesterday and two hours this afternoon. And we're done. So we're gonna clean up here, head back to the house. We got some more fun stuff to get done at the house, so y'all hang tight. Well you guys, that was a that was a good time with my friend Joe, but man, did I pay for it. I was so sore the next day. Uh, that was crazy. You guys, as I am sitting here editing this video, we are preparing for the birth of our fourth child. Um, Mama's nesting. Uh, Daddy's been doing a lot of nesting outdoors for Mama. Uh, so we have been super busy. Uh, our vlogs have been spaced out uh, much more than we would like to. 
I mean, we I used to vlog every day, but here lately, these last couple of weeks, it's been like two, maybe three a week. But I am so thankful for all you guys that come and watch all of our videos. You guys are awesome. All of our subscribers out there, we are like at 620 last time I checked. Uh, the channel just keeps growing. So thank you so much, especially all of you guys that share our videos on Facebook with your friends and family. Uh, that always helps out so much. You guys are awesome. So thank you so much. If you haven't liked the video and subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that now. Uh, you definitely want to subscribe, guys, and keep coming back. We are about to have our fourth child, and we are going to be having so much fun and having so many cool, awesome videos coming out. And we definitely still have a ton of projects going on around the homestead that we will be getting back into. Um, I've taken three weeks off of work to help Mama with the baby when we get back home. So you guys definitely want to be here for that. All right, guys, as always, we love you. We appreciate you. And if the good Lord is willing, we're going to see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye.